Hello, my dear friends of electronics. In this video, we'll talk about the Ember Pi design kit, and for this reason, I invite Manfred here. Hello, Manfred. Yes, good morning, Laurent. Thank you very much for the invitation. Because uh, he made a, a nice video about how to um, take in, in action this, this Ember Pi design kit and how to um, load all the software, but I am not so clear in this video how to transfer all the data, grab it from, from the Raspberry Pi, uh, with the Ember Pi kit into my laptop. I don't know. Yes, yeah, certainly, certainly. I, I'll show you. I've brought along the Ember Pi design kit, and in fact, I've connected it already. All I need is the Raspberry Pi at the bottom and the Ember Pi module on top, which has three sensors and a development board for own purposes, being temperature, pressure, and a three axis accelerometer. What I need is a mouse and a keyboard and the HDMI output to display my results on this side. What else I have on here is a radio module to transmit the data. Now, in order to get the data across to your laptop, there you have the uh, stick, which is a Tavos 3 stick, a connector via USB, and we need some software. In this case, I'm going to use the HTERM, which is a free downloadable uh, terminal emulation program. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, for that you need the FTDI chip.com driver, the FTDI uh -huh. driver. We've downloaded, installed that. You might just start HTERM for us there. Now be careful, we need the driver. And then we connect to the correct port. We need the board rate. In this case, the board rate is 115.2K board. The remaining data and the stop and the parity bits leave that as is. And we can actually connect, and we're waiting for the data to come across. Right, now I'm going to start my software on this side, and what we have here is the software development kit called Pseudo Code Blocks, or Code Blocks, and I'm starting it. This is our development environment. You'll see on the left-hand side the drivers for a whole number of our modules, the radio modules. But what I'm going to do is start the Ember Pi example here. This is all C code, and you can download, download that free as well. Let's start it and see what's happening. What I'm going to do now is actually read the sensors and transmit some data across to your stick. Right, this is what I'm sending. Do you receive the data, Laurent? Already it's there. So I have the sensor data from Accelerator. Great, it works. I'm very happy and very easy. So thank as, you so much. As easy as that, now you have your own IoT development environment. Feel free to experiment and work for your, or with your IoT example. Laurent, thank you. Thank you so much. And if you want to know more about the sensors, please watch next video. Bye.